All right, tell the story that you used to tell me about the old man and the hat and stuff. You still remember that story? Yeah, and I want I want to record that, and that that story affected me, so I I want to record it. Many years ago, my grand great grandfather died, and we went to the we went to the house. This little small town, another part of South Carolina. And back then, when somebody died, they didn't lay them in a funeral home for people to visit. You know, for visitation, they they would take them home, and they would take the coffin into the living room, and they would set the coffin in front of the couch, so people would come in. You know, and they would, you know, show sure going missing. You know, well, it was it was it, it done. Got, it was just about dark, and people were coming in. You know. I was a little fella, so I was sitting there playing, and this, there was this man came up, and he said, uh, young man, I said, yes sir, and I looked at him, you know, he's about 6'1", 6'2", you know, real thin, long face, uh, beautiful suit, tie, it had, had a gold, like a blue tie with gold stripes, so anyway, to make a story short, I said, yes sir, he said, young man, my hat blew under the house, would you mind getting it for me? And I was clean, you know, but I felt kind of bad for him losing his hat, you know, an old man like that. He, was, he must have been about 70, somewhere along in there. So I said, yes, sir, I'll get it for you. So I climbed my little butt down the stairs, you know, scoot up under the house, and come back out, and there he is. I handed him his hat. He said, thank you, young man. And he hung his hand out, and when he did, he dropped a silver dollar in my hand. And I said, wow, a dollar. So I go in the house, you know, and I'm flipping that silver dollar, you know, and I'm, have, you know, just, my dad says, where'd you get that money? I said, a man lost his hat under the house and asked me if I'd get it for him, so he gave me a dollar. My dad said, no, no, you're not taking nobody's money. Let's go find him. So we went outside, you know, we're looking, and he ain't around. We look in the house, and he ain't around. And, Grandma would ask me, she said, well, who, what did it look like? Cause I know, you know, she knew everybody in town. And I told her, I said, he was about six, one, six, two, uh, real thin, had a long face, you know, and beautiful blue suit. And my grandma just grabbed her mouth and went, cause, and didn't say a word. And my mom said, grandma, what's wrong? She said, I, 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 and she went on about her business. About 15 minutes later, she come back and she said, with a book, it was a photo book. And she's showing us the photo, you know, the book, and I open up, she said, Charlie, can I ask you a question? I said, yes, ma'am, Grandma. She says, can you, do you see that man in this picture? And I'm looking at him, you know, and I flip the page, and there he was. I, there he is, Grandma. That's the man that gave me the dollar. God, boom. Grandma hugged me, she said, Charlie, that's old Mr. Jones. He's been dead for 10 years. And he was buried in that blue suit and that tie. She said, save that dollar. He came, he said goodbye to my grandfather and his spirit disappeared. And I never saw the old man again.